from the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Adam Hammond with your morning headlines. This Friday morning, the search for a man who robbed and raped a pregnant woman enters day two. Wednesday afternoon, police say 30 year, a 30 year old pregnant woman was raped inside her apartment on Bell Road in Antioch. Police say the suspect had arrived about a half an hour before that victim got home from the store and he later entered her apartment, robbed her and assaulted her. The woman escaped by jumping out of her third story window and she was seriously hurt during all that. Police are still looking for the suspect who got away in a 2011 dark green Toyota Camry. All the votes are counted and it is official. Jim Shulman will become Nashville's next vice mayor. His opponent, Sherry Weiner, released a statement on Facebook congratulating Shulman on his victory. Now, Thursday's election was the fifth one of the year. After this election, voters will be back to the polls as early as October 17th for November's governor race. governor's race. Well, if you're heading to the airport this weekend, you'll need to listen up to this. A lane closure is planned at the merger of levels two and three of Terminal Drive. Those closures run until five o'clock this morning, and they're going to start back up again at 11 o'clock tonight. Vehicles leaving the terminal may experience some congestion on level two, so be sure to account for slowdowns and be careful right there. Now let's get a check on our forecast with Henry. Hey, good morning, Adam. It's going to be another muggy day. Chance of some of those showers popping up, too. Here's a look at real sky, how things break down today. We'll see the clouds lingering, maybe some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Humid at 88 by lunchtime, a high of 90 degrees. Checking that seven-day trend out. Temperatures may fall to the 80s, but humidity remains high as we head into next week. After 90 today, we'll drop to 89 tomorrow, 84 on Sunday. More widespread storm chances. Lows getting down in the 60s. That takes us again into next week.